Hey guys, Matt over at EasyNet. Today we're in our Athens location and we've got a 2021 Chevy Corvette C8. We're gonna be doing some ceramic coating. We're gonna be doing some paint correction. Today I'd love to introduce you to one of my techs, let them tell you a little bit of what we're doing. So let's get on over and, uh, and introduce you to Ed. All right, here we are with Ed. Ed is our head paint correction and ceramic coating technician here at our Athens location. So anytime a car comes in for any kind of ceramic coating, detailing, or, or, or paint correction, Ed's gonna, gonna head up this process. So with this C8, Ed, you, you've got it in. We're gonna do a full uh, ceramic coating CSU package on it. This is a nine-year coating for G-Technic. Uh, but you're starting it off with a paint correction and for, for, you know, before I got into this business, basically it seems like that's a, that's a kind of a luxury word or a fancy word for a polish and a compound. Tell me a little bit about what, what the process is. When a car comes in, what exactly do you do when it comes in? Uh, process begins with a hand wash, um, ends with a clay bar, and just get off any of those large contaminants on the paint. Any debris and dust. You, what you don't want to do is polish that into the paint, obviously. Correct, right. We want to rid the paint of any of that before okay. we actually coat it. Uh, because that coating is not going anywhere for a long time. So we really so. want to make sure we bring out the best of the yeah. paint. So when you, when you get one in and we get a single stage polish uh, versus a two or three stage polish, what we're really talking about is the different combinations of compounds and, and pads to, that, that you're kind of, you know, there's some science to this. You're testing panels, you're doing test spots on panels to see what's working best. Um, and you come up with the best almost solution for that customer. And you're going executing that basically by doing all the polishing and, and, and compounding and then that gets it ready for the ceramic coating, right? Correct. It's important obviously for a shop uh, to have the right lighting, have the right tools. You've got gloves on, we've got nice flooring, we're keeping all the contaminants off the vehicle, getting your lighting to where you can see everything. Uh, it's important for guys like me with no gloves on not to touch the car. Correct. We don't want to get oil on the car. That's right. Uh, and uh, and then get out of your way and let you do your job, right? That's right. So. It's about just keeping a clean space and making while working so we don't bring in more contaminants into the paint and create more work for us. What people don't realize is that that when you put on a ceramic coating, it's it's an pretty much permanent bond to this paint. I mean, this is, you know, the, the products that we use on this vehicle is going to be a nine-year product. Uh, what you don't want to do is lock in scratches or swirls or dirt or debris or, or just really anything uh, into that paint. So this paint correction is, a, is, is probably the most essential part of the whole process. Uh, that paired with the right with the actual right ceramic on top. So let me get out of your way. Let me let you finish on this one, uh, and we'll check in once you're actually applying the uh, ceramic on it. Okay? Sounds good. Awesome. All right, Ed. So we're done with the paint correction uh, on this C8. It looks fantastic. There's no blemishes, nothing in the paint. And you're starting to put on the ceramic coating uh, on this vehicle. I noticed on this one, we're putting the C uh, CSU. That's a G-Technic CSU. It's a nine-year product. Um, that pretty much means this customer wants the best of the best. Um, when you're applying this, Ed, uh, how long does it take for it to typically cure? What's the process look like? We like to let it sit overnight, 12 hours, just to make sure it cures fully. Once you once it's actually been wiped down, how about with the application? Right now you're wiping it on, and then essentially once it bonds to the paint, you're gonna begin wiping off the, the, the uh, extra. How long does that process kind of take? Doesn't take very long. Just uh, a couple minutes. It, this being our best product, it just cures different, but really quick, so I just have to yeah. make sure I'm on top of it. Make sure I don't distract you while you're putting it on. That's correct. <laughs> Um, it, it ends up leaving just this incredibly crazy gloss when it's done though and, and all the guys obviously you get mad but everyone likes to, to feel the paint after it's done just because it feels so slick once it's put on. Um, that's, that's what on the CSU, that's what I'll actually on, on any ceramic but on this really high end product doesn't like to feed the water up really tight. Um, it keeps it, uh, it, it, what you're essentially doing is your paint has pores in it and the ceramic is actually bonding to the clear coat filling in those pores and it's making it where you get the slick top coat right over the top of it um, and that's going to make it where any water debris dust any any dirt that gets on the vehicle is going to sit right on top that's why it's easier to clean easier to wash that's why it dries easier um, and that's uh that's why it just feels so slick too because it's a, a nice smooth surface so so we'll, we'll uh, oh you're and you're already going ahead and wiping it down that's correct uh, after it started to beat up yeah that's what we look for before we just wipe it down. Yeah. So when you talk about beating up, you're literally seeing, it almost looks like 
up close and we'll try to get on the camera, it, it actually looks like the, the um, ceramic that's right on the top sweats. It, it starts to tighten up into little beads and that essentially indicates to, to the tech that it's ready to wipe, right? Correct, yeah. It goes from long streaks to short beads. Yeah, and then you're wiping it with more than one, more than one time. Why is that? Because uh, we can't, one towel just can't pick up all the product. There'll be excess left over. And what would happen if, if you know, someone didn't know what they were doing and they left the ceramic on there or they missed some and they were wiping it down or just something got streaked? What would happen to the paint? It would not well, be a good those situation. Well, bees would uh, harden up and uh, just be in a bad situation. Yeah, it literally um, turns to liquid glass right on the top Liquid glass, of the that is correct. Yeah. So, well, you I apologize be on for. Top. I apologize for distracting you more. I think this thing's gonna look incredible though. I think we, I can't wait when it's outside. Hopefully it'll be nice and sunny tomorrow. You said, so you'll finish the ceramic today on this one? That's correct. Let it sit over, cure overnight, and then in the morning it'll be ready to go home. Awesome, cool. I'll get out of your way again. All right guys, we've got this 2021 Chevy Corvette taken care of. We've got the C8 looking amazing. It, now that it's got paint corrected, now that it's got the, the CSU ceramic coating on it, it's gonna be protected for a long time. This car is gonna be easier to wash, gonna be easier to keep clean. And on top of that, it just looks awesome. Uh, uh, if this customer will picking it up today, I can't wait to see the look on their face. If you have any questions about ceramic coating, about paint correction, about any of the other services we offer, swing by one of our shops. Give us a call, go on our website. If you have any questions at all, we're here to help. We'd love to answer any questions for you. Thanks so much.